Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial in Photoshop. Today we will be talking about interior, color correction and post-production. Similarly to the previous lesson, we'll start with color correction as well. As you can see guys, I have an interior shot. I have rendered this shot and imported it to Photoshop. Now, the first thing that I will be doing is to correct the colors of this picture. Okay, now let's start with um, curves as we did in the previous lesson. Um, let's make some contrast. Okay, I'll increase, increase the light and increase the shadows. That's it. Just a little bit. As you can see that I don't really need so much contrast in here so it was only simple touches the second one is to check the levels now we have mentioned that whenever you see an empty space you just move uh, the closer slider to uh, the start of um, uh, color information as you can see here that there is no empty space so we don't need levels for this time okay I will be deleting this layer now let's add um, hue saturation actually I might need some more lightness or shadows for example a little bit desaturation that's it that's all okay just few touches color balance as you can see now in interior shots we don't really show how warm the atmosphere or how cold okay unless there is some purpose behind it so in my case I'm going to show um, a balanced uh, atmosphere okay so for me the colors of this interior shot are warm as you can see there is wood and um, dark blue in the background the color of this chair all of them are like um closer to dark colors okay so i will be adding some cold colors to it um a little bit of blue and some cyan over here. okay that's it just a small touch and the colors are totally different okay now let's group them into C C color correction now we have done our first step we'll move to the next one which is about lighting okay guys now um, actually before going to lighting I will be adding some depth to our picture how can we add depth as you can see that there is so much lights on or so much light on the ground so uh, for me I will be using the gradient tool the gradient tool okay the linear style or the linear type with white or black color okay now I will be clicking outside of this box hold the shift and drag inside this much for example okay that's fair enough now this one adds depth and makes the picture looks more stable okay that's everything about depth now moving on to lighting okay I will be adding a new layer a new group and call it lighting great now the first thing I will be doing is the glow okay I have to insert some glow to my picture here so I'll be using um, the gradient as well but with radial type now let's um, pick the white color and drag from the outside to the inside in order to get the fade of this glow I don't really need to start from here or from here okay guys it's going to be um, like so much light or so much um, effect so I only need this faded okay that's um, no um maybe like this for example a little bit more okay that's fair that's fair you see guys this is the glow um it's not so much 
it's not um, uh, annoying or or something else now uh, for the glow I won't keep it on normal so I'll change it to overlay overlay um, gives you more effect like not a direct light okay but the effect of this light on textures okay so to increase that effect for example I might press ctrl J in order to duplicate the layer and gives more lighting to this texture over here now I will be merging these two layers whenever you merge two layers with different blending mode they back to normal okay so all you have to do is to rechange it to overlay that's it that's everything about this part now let's add a new layer which is going to be um, uh, sun effect also it will work with the gradient tool but this time with a linear line linear type sorry and we'll be adding just a little bit of this effect that it gives some um, fog over here okay in order to um, make the lighting looks more realistic so I won't keep the opacity 100 I will decrease it to 0 then then increase it a little bit okay that's satisfying we've got some fog over here we are so great actually ctrl T hold the shift I'm going to fade it more let's hide amazing we might um, use the screen mode for it increase it a little bit okay 60 is fine awesome great now the third light um, so uh, sorry the third light element will be the sun ray now as you can see guys we need some sun rays or god rays over here um, I will grab this picture and move it here now this one is the effect okay so I will use it just right this way mm, here for example maybe I will stretch it a little bit more stretch okay great now let's remove these um, sharp edges Rasterize first, then choose the eraser to 40% or maybe 30 and start fading those edges. Okay, great, awesome. Sorry. Now, all you have to do is to screen blending mode, that's it. Okay, but we're not keeping it this way so we're shifting it outside um, like this for example we may actually hit the control and move this up we might need another copy down there then i will merge them go to screen okay control t awesome now as we mentioned before we don't keep it 100% opacity 0 then start increasing until you start seeing these lines over here as you can see there are some rays okay that's everything that's everything for the lighting this time now let's shut this off here are our lightings okay great now um, we're going to ctrl shift alt e in order to merge all layers into a new one and go to camera row filter ctrl shift a 
Now let's add some final touches. Okay, great. I will go on minus three, for example, to cold colors. I'm going to increase the exposure, as you can see. Great. For the contrast, I will increase it a little bit. Go with the highlights, more, more shadows. Maybe more blacks as well. Go to texture. Okay, great. Let's decrease the vibrance this way. Awesome. Okay. Now let's see the difference between before and after the camera. So much difference. So much textures as you can see the, te the texture here is so much improved okay awesome now actually we will be adding some um, extra effects we're going to drag this one here and i will be using only um, this part of this photo so let's increase the size May hold the shift. I'm going to scale it this way. Maybe a little bit. Okay, satisfying. Now let's remove these um, sharp edges as we learn that this way. Let's go to screen mode. Awesome. Now this effect is just like um, the dirt of um, camera lens, okay? So I'm going to decrease the opacity, start increasing it until you start seeing um, this blur dirt over here, okay? That's awesome. It added more contrast, more light effect and more realistic for our shot. Now the last thing you may do is to go to adjustment layer solid color and choose the black one now as you can see that this color is uh, filled in the whole workspace now how can we remove some specific areas okay i want to remove some particular area from this uh, picture now as we mentioned that the adjustment layer works well with the mask layer okay there is always mask for the adjustment layer now the white mask refers to the filled area here so if i want to remove this place okay remove this black here i will work on my mask with a with the opposite color now the color here is white so i will be working with black let's pick the brush tool in order to make it more clear we have selected the mask and chosen the black color let's hit inside the photo and you'll see that it starts to fade away now a couple of clicks that's it as you can see this black area here or there in the corners okay gives like more depth to our shot and more realistic that it's been taken by a camera a professional one now that's it that's before and that's after the post production one more thing guys I forgot to mention is the glow here in the um, highlighted areas I'm going to select them from this um, layer let's pick the magic wand and the click here for example I have already unchecked the contiguous uh, as you can see that it has selected um, the ground I will remove the selection here and remove it from here as well 
Okay, that's great. Now, Ctrl J in order to copy these highlighted areas. Okay. Double click to go to a layer style. Just like we did with the exterior shot, going to outer glow. Okay, choosing the white color. Okay, I, I actually I guess that um, the opacity and the size are fine. You see, just amazing. Now those are our finishing group. Always organized. We may also group everything and call them morg files. That's it, everyone. Before and after. Don't forget to join our Telegram channel in order to um, download these files, guys. Which was enjoyable, useful, and see you next time. Um, on another lesson with post-production.